All right, now I'm going to tell you this story. I got to get out of here. And the story is about, you guys have probably heard about this before. It was, a, it was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money. And so he went to this guru, right? And he told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He all ready to rock and roll, got on the suit. He should have wore shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. So he walks out into the water. Watch this. When he walks out into the water, it goes waist deep. He said, come on out a little further. He came out a little further. It was right at his mouth. My man, like, I'm about to go back in here. This God is mine. So the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He said, walk a little further. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, holding him down. My man didn't scratch it, holding him down. He had him held down just before my man was about to pass out. He raised him up. He said, I got a question for you. Somebody answered the question for me. He said, when you were underwater, what did you want to do? He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. The only thing you're trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. That most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you got to be willing to give up sleep. You got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you will have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you gotta want it. You gotta go days without, listen to me, you gotta want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. Because when you're studying and you get tired, you quit. And I'm here to tell you today, if you got a, somebody came to my office the other day crying, I said, look, don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. Listen to me. I'm here to tell you today that you can come here, you can jump up, you can do flips, you can be excited when we give away money. But listen to me, you'll never be successful until I don't have to give you a dime to do it. Listen to me. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside. And something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. You ain't gonna die at the end of pain and success. You're not gonna die because you're feeling a little pain. But I'm exactly where I wanted to be because I realized I gotta commit my very being to this thing. I gotta, I gotta breathe it, I gotta eat it, I gotta sleep it. And until you get there, you'll never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours. 
So work hard and you can have whatever it is you want. said, I got an opportunity to make a dream become a reality. 